welcome to Field Day Fun Season 2. My name is Drew Burris. I will be your host along with this ride and join me with my Field Day friends as I come and explain some ideas that might help you this year for Field Day. We all get into that rut where we don't know really what to do, but that's why I bring along my friends and they can show you how just to make the student's day just an epic day. Today, my guest today, you might have seen most of the stuff she does. It's all over social media. Um, Barb Borden, how are you tonight, Barb? I am really good. How you doing, Drew? I am good, and I'm really excited to have you on because I know I've seen a lot of your stuff from previous years for Field Day, and I know you can help a lot of the viewers out tonight. So are you ready? I am ready. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. The way we usually do this is we do five fun facts, and I'll ask you a question. You can answer it the best that you can, okay? Yep, got it. All right, so number five, a little bit of an intro. Tell me who you are, what you teach, and where you teach. All right, that one's easy. Uh, I am Barb Borden. I am... Um, a PE teacher in Frankfurt, Illinois, and I teach kindergarten through second grade. All right. So you get the little ones, right? Yeah, that, they're so, the best. How's that experience? I love it. They're, you know, you're, you're like a rock star to them and it's just so fun. It's, they, they love PE. So, you know, it's very rewarding. Yeah. I've, got, sure. the, I've got pre-K through two and yeah. the preschoolers, I, they, when they come in, it's just, it's exciting. Like no matter what type of day you're having, they just, they make it better just for some yeah. reason. I don't, it's that, that it's that feeling, my <laughs> God, all, all that excitement that they have. It just, it cracks me up every day. I know. <laughs> I know. They are a lot of energy, a lot of fun. Yeah. Right. Right. I think they keep me young. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. Really good. Okay. So let's go to number four for our fun facts. How has teaching been this year? Last season, we had asked, what's it like or what's your platform like with well, it's virtual, in-person, half and half of hybrid, but now it seems like almost everybody's back face-to-face. -face. So kind of curious, how's it been like this year for you? And you can be on, yeah. it's okay. Uh, well, you know what? We were in person last year as okay. well. So um, it was kind of a most of our kids were back. Uh, so everything was pretty similar. Things are starting to ease up a little more. So now, I mean, we did have masks up until right. just February. So we were able to, I mean, you can wear a mask if you want, but um, most, most everybody's without masks now. And right. um, so things are starting to kind of get back to normal. Parents are back in the building um, that was, that's new. So yeah. there's a lot of uh, new developments, you know, we're having hot lunches again. And mm -hmm. so things are starting to slowly get back to normal. At, it was pre pandemic. Yeah. 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 And that, that's good. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, we were back uh, when the school year started, when the pandemic was going on, we you know we came back, we did 50, 50 kids that wanted to go, you know, come to school, they could, they wanted to stay home. And then this year we, they all came back. So yeah, it's been, do you see many of the struggles uh, that's been posted online from teachers that kind of feel like they're probably burnt out from it? Yeah. For, yeah, definitely. Because I do see that the kids, um, the SEL piece is so important and I, Oh yes. are struggling, you know, right. I do. I, I definitely feel like there's more uh, areas where kids just don't know how to communicate to each other. Uh -huh. And, you know, so we work on that kind of stuff. I, I just, yeah, it's kind of sad. I mean, I feel like, wow, there's so many more issues and social work being called and things that didn't really seem to be a problem before. Right. Um, but, you know, I, it's, it's going to take some time and I think effort, and, um, but I, I do see teachers getting burnt out, you know, and yeah. that's hard. I say there's been a lot of posts on whether it's Facebook or Twitter with the PE uh, sites, you know, it seems like it's a common thing about every day. Um, you know, just 
I know with just the community of what we can do, everybody can help each other out because yeah. there's usually a lot of comments on those posts that people, they do provide good examples of what they could do. So yeah, I think absolutely. If, anybody, if anything can get, if I can get through all this, I think the PE teachers can round up together and help the situation. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think there's a big group of us out there that are so helpful to each other. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yep. So that makes it easier. Right. Okay. So let's go to number three now. Okay, so okay. what was last year's field day like for you and your kiddos? Kind of give me a, just a kind of a, maybe a demonstration of what you had going on. Sure, yeah. Well, so it was um, a night at the movies. And uh, it was pretty good. Um, I, you know, it was like half of what we would have normally done. So right. the stations, because we only took... Um, we used to have like the entire grade level out at a time, which would be, uh, 12, 12 classes out at once okay. and we did half. So we only had six classes out at a time so we could sanitize and do all the stuff. So yeah. it went really smoothly. It just seemed small. And then of course we only did the six or well, we had like seven stations just stretched it out a little bit longer. And I mean, the kids had a blast. They didn't oh, yeah. really know the difference. It just seemed really quiet. We didn't have our like DJ. We had music out there and it was mm -hmm. just us. It went really great. Um, we had to do it over the period of three days instead of normally we do two days and we uh, do like one grade level in the morning, one grade level in the afternoon. And then we do it the next day for one grade level. And doing three days was oh, exhausting. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, the weather wasn't great on the third day. And we get a lot of wind at that time of year. And uh -huh. so things were starting to get kind of blown apart. But, you know, all in all, it was it was great. The teachers had a great time. And, you know, it, it went pretty well. I feel, like, I feel like with mine last year that there was like something to prove because it was my second year at my new school, but it was the first year because the year before they did it at home. It was, you know, a year to show this is what I can do as a PE teacher on field day. And, you know, when we, we did our Disney one last year, it was just mind blowing. Yeah. Like they didn't think that I was going to go through all this work of put. I mean, you know, I know, you know, me and most of the people, maybe the watchers yeah. at home and people on Twitter, they know that I go all out for all this like you know yep. staying up 36 hours straight and hearing the sounds of laughter from the students yeah. um and we did not allow volunteers to come in at all so yeah. we had paras and teachers come out and help and just them seeing those kids face light up was yeah. the biggest thing and it really touched my heart just you've done your job and now yeah. you got to go bigger next year but yeah, uh, yeah. it's just I, just that feeling because I thought, okay, this is going to go. The weather was nice. Everything was set up and I'm going to blow their minds when I come out. And, yeah. and that's what happened. I mean, I, I was really scared because I thought, oh, no one's really going to care for this. But no, it, it turned out very well. I was very happy with that. So now I just got yeah. time for this year. So yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. And I'm glad that we, if you did have the in-person field day last year, if you took advantage of you know, you kind of felt what we did, just everybody was having a great time. Yeah. And it was like, you all earned it. And I mean, we even had virtual kids come to the events. They, yeah. wanted, they wanted to come to right. see what was going on. So, because I yeah. even set aside a virtual time just for those kids if they wanted to come. But parents said, no, we're bringing our kid during their uh, specific time for their grade. So, that's awesome. Went really well. Okay, so let's go to our next one. So for number two, what is, this is a good question because you usually have good ideas. What is this year's field day like? Now, this is kind of a little bit of, I guess you could say maybe teaser, but, you know, kind of helping out for our yeah. friends that uh, kind of have a little bit of a trouble of thinking of things to do. So floor is all yours. Go ahead. All right. Well, I'm actually pretty excited about this one, and I came up with it at the end 
of field day last year because I was like, I got an idea. So it's a books come alive type of um, where I'm doing like kids books. Like, like um, I'll give you a couple of, uh, I've got some Pete the Cat, some Elephant Piggy, um, you know, wait a minute, sorry. I'm looking at my, um, the day the crayons quit. I'm using like some pool noodles as giant crayons, almost like a, okay. a noodle frenzy game, you know, sure. but they pick up the crayons, you know, stuff like that. So something that kind of ties in with literacy. So then right. they know how important reading and, you know, just as a whole community, we work in together and, you know, it's not just PE, it's right. reading. So, I bet yeah. your librarian will like that too. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a good way to get them a little bit involved in it as well. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a great, yeah. that's a great idea. All right, yeah. I say yeah, that is, I that is kind of on my to do list for later on. But yeah, that that is a great idea for that theme of doing. Yeah, do you like doing the themes for field day? Oh yeah, we always have a theme. Um, yeah, I yeah I like that better. I just think it's a little bit more fun. Uh -huh. And yeah, I mean you can always take any game and kind of turn it right. into whatever a station you know? basically yeah 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 I, think, I don't know kind of with mine with the themes it seems like I try to get something that that relates to the kids and that yeah. kind of draws them in a little bit more instead of just calling it field day oh yeah so I mean yeah that, every time I presented about field day ideas I that's like my opening line is you know the, you know this might relate to the students if they see this is what it's about you might drag in a bigger audience instead of just calling it field day. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yes, I, I love the themes. I love everything that you do, especially this time of year, because we are getting very close um, no. for field day if you do it at the end of the year, but yes, it's, it's almost that time of the season. So yes. I know. I think I saw your post and I was like, Oh my gosh, is that all we have left? I got <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Countdowns on the kids are counting uh, since we're doing Ghostbusters, I've got ghosts on a bulletin board, and it's got the ghost trap at the bottom, and each day represents a ghost. So when they come in the PE, we rip a ghost down and drop it in the trap. So I think we're at 34 right now, so they're getting excited. And even the kids that have never seen Ghostbusters or know of it, they've been prepped all year. Yeah. So that's kind that's of my cool. goal as well. So yes. yeah. And let's get to our number one question. This is always a fun one that I ask uh, for the guests. Tell me, what was your favorite field day activity? Now, this could be one that you made or even one that you participated in. Okay. That I kind of know. Um, well, I mm, there's like two that I okay. did. that. I really, okay. So I did a games, a board games come to life mm -hmm. a couple years ago. And I made operation and i spray painted the big uh oh. bodies on uh -huh. the um on the grass and then I, we use noodles as the um you know like the tweezers the tweezers yeah and down and i had the actual cards from the operation game and i just blew them up and then i made the pieces like the spare ribs and the out of like these foam it was really just fun making all <laughs> the butterflies i used like i found some wood butterflies from michael's and i spray painted them i mean all the pieces were um things that i made and they were just really cute um i made like a wrench out of a or oh, what was it the wrench knee or something like that a wrenched ankle that's what it was um and i made like a wrench out of tin foil i mean just the pieces for the <laughs> operation I mean, you can see that on twitter too if you go back um and then the other one I did was the um, giant kerplunk. Did you see that? I that did one? see that one. Yes. How long did yeah, it take to I make that? How long? Yeah. How long did it take to make that? Man, a couple of days. I've seen your pictures of like smiling and giving a thumbs up when with yeah. the wood and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. That. <laughs> Went to Home Depot That's and genius. yeah, I was like, I had to get my husband in on that because I was like, oh, can you help me build these things? And, then, <laughs> and they were heavy. Oh my yeah. God. Like, yeah. And then the, um, the balls in the ball pit, pulling the sticks and everything and painting all the sticks that took a while, right. but I mean, it was, you know, and, and that year we had parents thankfully, cause 
the parents had to re kind of prep everything and they were mm-hmm. awesome. We just That's put good. pools under there with the balls and threw them back in. It was a lot of fun. So. I got you. Um, what I'd done last season with my guests is I usually kind of pulled something out of the archives and showed them uh, something that they'd done. So if we kind of take a look at this and let me know if you can see this or not. Oh, yeah, that's this year. that was last year. So the movie madness, I think this is pretty neat. Uh, yeah. Kind of like almost like a red carpet almost. Were you going for yep. that on that? Yep. That's where they came out. And then all the teachers names like on all those little like. I got those things at Party City. They're, they're plates. Uh, yeah, huh? There's oh, name really? on that's there. Neat. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I seen that and I was like, well, that that's uh, that's pretty neat looking at. Just, I mean, getting, putting the design into that for the kids to see that. I mean, I'd be like a movie star. I'd be walking in. Yeah, that was fun. We did. <laughs> they came out and yeah, it was neat. You know, we do. We put a lot of effort into um, field day for sure. That's good. I re- Yes, and I have to say you... Uh, I know we finally got to meet each other back in, uh, what was it, July for K-Shape. Yeah. And I, I met you and I just, I was just kind of geeking out. Just like, this, this is Barb. This is the one I followed on Twitter for a long time. And there's a lot of other people there. And just, I, I am very, very thankful for you to be able to put out stuff. And it's not just field day stuff, but all your activities that you put out on, you know, mostly a daily basis for uh, teachers to see to help their students. So. Oh, thanks for you. You are, I feel the same way about you. You've got awesome ideas and um, games and your visuals. It helps a lot of people. So. So, Yes. And I'm very grateful that you were able to come on today for uh, doing our first episode of our second season. And if you can maybe give our viewers uh, maybe some contact info of if they have any questions or if they're struggling a little bit uh, to create a field day this year, possibly, I mean, usually it's sometimes the first time teachers, uh, you know, that need some help. How could they contact you? Sure. Um, well, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, at Barbara Borden nine is my Twitter. Um, and then my email is uh, B Borden at F sd157c.org um i think that's right is it all you need yep that's pretty good yeah so they should be able to get a hold of you barb i really appreciate you being on tonight uh best of luck with this year's field day i'm sure we'll all see it online and just you know you do great things so keep it up okay thanks drew you too all right All right. So thank you very much to Barb for being here on our first episode of our second season. So yes, we are in our second season. Now, if you want to look at the last season episodes we had for guests, go on and take a look on YouTube. Uh, I'm Drew Burris, and this has been Field Day Fun. And remember, no matter what you do this year for your students, just make it fun. We'll see you next week with a new guest. Bye. (laughs) 